Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews on How To, and on today's video, just a quick one for those of you that are using Synology Active Backup for Business, and you're finding that for some bizarre reason, your backups are not actually taking place as they're supposed to in the schedule. So in the schedule, you've got the option for a dedicated time for the backup to start. That generally works okay, but there is a feature built into the backup process so that if for some reason you miss that, you can actually have it so that it starts on triggered events, such as Windows Login, the screen being locked, or just Windows Startup. Now I found on my system, the one actually behind me, that for some reason it just wasn't starting the backup on Startup. Now it seems there's a very simple fix to this, and all it is is the Windows Fast Boot feature, which is built into Windows, which basically kind of tries to recover elements from the kernel, or what has been loaded previously, so it doesn't kick in that trigger for the active backup for business. So we're gonna head over to the computer now, and I'll show you basically what I'm talking about and how to remedy it. So this is our Windows 11 desktop, and we've got Active Backup for Business running here. If you go into the Active Backup for Business, go into PC Mac, go into your PC version, we've got Windows and Mic Daily Backup. So this is the schedule. So we've got a scheduled backup. So it's supposed to back up by the time. So that's running daily, and it starts at about 3 p.m. Also, if for some reason the PC isn't turned on, then I like it to be backed up from just the Windows starting up. So every time I start up, I've got a fresh backup of the system should I need to roll back if I've made any tweaks or changes which are uh, not compatible or cause problems. But anyway, that's my reasoning behind it. So I've got both of those. Some of you may just have backup by time or you may just have backup by event, whichever it is. But if you're finding that the backup by event isn't taking place, it is gonna be down to the Windows fast boot setting. So let's have a look at that. It's quite an easy thing to get hold of. So all you do, go down to your search bar, type in run, and then you can type in control for control panel, or you can just go to the control panel, whichever is easier for you. And if you go into hardware and sound, and then you wanna to go to power options, and the option we're actually looking for is change what the power buttons do. This is basically the easiest way of finding it for some bizarre reason. So click on this one, and then you should have here, turn on fast startup. As you can see, mine is currently disabled, which is the way it needs to be in order for Synology Active Backup for Business to actually work. If you get to this and you can't actually do anything, you need to click on here where it says change settings that are currently unavailable. So after that, you can go into this section and actually have access so you can select or deselect. So basically turning off this section here where it's got turn on fast startup recommended actually allows active backup for business to work from Windows startup because it actually refreshes the Windows kernel and reloads all services on every startup, which makes the PC startup a little bit slower, but to be honest with you, with modern PCs nowadays, you'll never notice it. So once you've done that, click on Save Changes, and that'll be applied. So the next time you reboot your PC, you should find your active backup for business is working as it is intended to. So there you go, pretty straightforward, pretty simple thing to do. Now, obviously, depending when you're watching this, this is now December 2023. If Synology actually uh, improved the software and make it so that it works in either way, whether or not it's a Synology thing, whether it's a Microsoft thing, I honestly don't know, but certainly this is a good way of working around it. If this video has been helpful to you, please click the like button. If you want to see more content like this on a daily basis, then maybe consider hitting the subscribe button and the chime notification, that way you'll be notified of future video releases. But for now, I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.